Whoa. More Switch Pro info, bro. Oh, we almost have a breaking feet to me. OB1 plays. Yes, right. What's up? All right. OB1 plays. God, everybody, how are y'all doing? Before we get started with this video, you already know the vibes. Give it a thumbs up, bro. Let's crush 400 likes for this video. Do it right now. Let's get it to 400. We have a couple of dope Nintendo Switch news items for this video, but the first one is a doozy. All right, the past few weeks have been insane for Nintendo Switch Pro information, 4K, DLSS, oh, and the latest report of it uh, coming out, holiday 2021, 2022 spring, the latest crazy stuff, bro. But we have even more information another piece to the switch pro puzzle coming at you right now this is coming from doc trey 81 he has discovered nvidia hiring for a next gen console and what they want to do for this console so the whole world knows that nvidia makes the chips for the switch whereas amd is partnered with there's two big uh, processor makers you got nvidia and you have amd uh, amd is doing playstation 5 and xbox um, but for the switch nvidia has been the chip maker for nintendo and check out the description for this next gen console two things that he highlights one, that it's a pioneer to pioneer the next gen of graphics developer tools for game consoles. Again, NVIDIA makes Nintendo's consoles. But this is what piqued my interest. To create graphics profiler features for NVIDIA GPUs enabling, watch this, developers to achieve higher and more consistent frame rates thank you this lets me know a couple of things that because people are just speculating maybe this new switch will just have a nicer screen or oled screen and that's all nintendo does but this further confirms that it will be more power in the pro higher frame rates the nintendo first party games nintendo maximizes their hardware most of their games and <laughs> brother of the wild is shown the game that has horrible frame rates but most of nintendo's first party games are at 60 frames or a consistent solid frame rate but third party developers have been struggling <coughs> WWE <coughs> 2K 18 was it 18? Oh, the game ran like everybody was underwater, bro. The frame rate was atrocious, and that's not the only game. Even more recently, Hyrule Warriors um, Age of Calamity or Calamity Ganon, whatever the game is called, you know what I'm talking about. The game was fantastic. The story was so amazing. Going back, oh, I don't want to spoil it. I don't want to spoil it. I'm right about to start spoiling it. The story was amazing. But the frame rate was horrendous, to say the least. And so one thing that Nintendo seems to be prioritizing in the Switch Pro would be frame rates. My favorite third-party game on the Switch, NBA 2K. I'm a 2K head, bro. We be on that 2K on my gaming channel. Go over to Obi-Wan Plays Gaming Championship. We be playing 2K. We play other games. Oh, we're going to talk about Apex later. But my point is 2K on the Switch 
frame rates, horrible. I think it's capped at 30 frames because there's a big difference when I'm playing it on my PS5. But, bro, if we can get better frame rates on the Switch Pro, that would be wonderful. So, according to this hiring, they will be focusing on higher and more, cons I quote, higher and more consistent frame rates for the Switch Pro. Dope, dope, dope news. Has me excited. But, next news item we got some xbox news don't click off don't click off it's pretty decent there is rumors that an xbox huge event will be happening in the next few days so expect an announcement and it's anticipated and expected that this is coming from games radar that it's going to be highlighting Bethesda Xbox games. Xbox is reportedly putting on a Bethesda showcase in March. And so rumors are heating up. We all know the deal has become official. It was reported, reported months ago, reported. It was reported months ago that um, Xbox was buying Bethesda 7.5 billion. I still can't. Y'all... Do y'all know how much money that is? Disney bought um, Star Wars and Marvel for $8 billion, bro. Let that sink in. Star Wars and Marvel worth $8 billion. And Xbox bought Bethesda for almost the same price. <laughs> That's too much money, bro. But um, they're going to have a showcase coming up. To highlight what Bethesda has been working on, they need to recoup that money. That's why I don't think these Bethesda games are going to be exclusive, bro, to Xbox. I think they're going to have them probably release first on Xbox, but still come to PlayStation because they need to make that money back ASAP. So, Xbox big event should be coming soon, bro. Speaking of third-party games and frame, I'm hyped for this. Apex Legends launches today on the Nintendo Switch. I will, I will be live streaming on my gaming channel today. As soon as it launches, I think it's around noon, I don't know yet, or it could be this evening. But whenever Apex Legends launches on the Switch, I will be live streaming it on my gaming channel but we got some news and information on what we can expect with the switch version of the game docked mode which is the mode i will be playing pretty much 99.9 .9 of the time on the switch has been confirmed to be 720p 30 frames per second ported by panic button that's what you got to keep in mind panic button they work miracles on the Switch. So I have confidence that we're going to have a, gay, a great, great experience playing Apex on the Switch. I will be playing. I'm only going to be playing Switch lobbies because PC dudes probably have the game at 120 frames per second, whatever the frames are. And we're going to be at a disadvantage if you're playing on the Switch, bro. That's just obvious if you're going to be at 30 frames. So I'm going to be on in those Switch lobbies playing some Apex. If you want to game with your boy on Apex, become a sponsor. Three ways to join. Links are in the description, all that fun stuff. All right. Next news item. Also, also, the game will be 25 gigabytes. 25 gigabytes, um, according to Nintendo.com, uh, for the file size of Apex Legends. It's interesting because on the eShop, it says like 18 megabytes, which I knew that, no, that couldn't be right. But on Nintendo's uh, website, it says 25 gigabytes, which sounds about right. All right. We got some Pokemon news. Pokemon news. Oh, no, 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 no. We have Nintendo World. Scratch the Pokemon news. That's going to be for another video. But po um, Nintendo World. Nintendo World is set to open March 18th. March 18th and uh, about a week and a half. It's finally going to be open in Japan. In Japan, Super Nintendo World is set to finally, finally 
open, which is dope. Now, I'm hearing that in the US, it's not coming until the 25th, the 25th, um, 2025, 2025 in the US, which is a long time. COVID has impacted development. I can't wait, bro. When that comes out in, in um, the US, y'all already know we'd be at the theme parks almost every month. We'd be at Disney, SeaWorld, all that stuff. We're definitely going to be at Nintendo World. All right, dude, those are all the news items for this video. What do you guys think about everything we talked about? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things men. 10 dough we out boy we out